We know that software does not expire, right? It lasts forever, but it does rot. Its quality degrades over time. As you build your project and you add features, you probably won't always build it in a clean and mindful way. Especially if you have a tight deadline. You're rushing to ship, so aside from features, you also produce bugs, code smells, technical debt, that rots your software. But it's your job as a software engineer to maintain its freshness while building on top of it. Code refactoring is the process of analyzing the existing code base, identifying technical debt and code smells, and modifying the specific code so it's more optimized and it removes the debt and smells without changing its user-facing behavior. It's like de-weeding your code. And it takes time, so plan accordingly. Refactoring aims to improve the internal quality of the code while preserving its functionality. The primary objectives of code refactoring include readability, refactoring techniques such as renaming variables or methods, simplifying complex code blocks, or applying consistent formatting make the code easier to understand and maintain. Maintainability, refactoring eliminates code smells for example, duplication, long methods, excessive complexity, and also improves the overall structure of the code, making it easy to modify and extend in the future. Reusability. Refactoring promotes the extraction of reusable components or patterns from existing code, making them more modular and independent. This can lead to reduced development effort in the long run. Optimizing performance. Refactoring can help you identify and eliminate performance bottlenecks by optimizing algorithms, data structures, or resource usage. This leads to more efficient and faster running code. And finally, enforcing coding standards. Refactoring provides an opportunity to enforce consistent coding standards and best practices across the code base. This improves the overall quality and maintainability of the code. It's important to note that code refactoring should be done incrementally and with the aid of automated tests. This ensures that any changes made to the code do not introduce new bugs or regressions.